Okay, I am going to take the most popular Myers-Briggs test. Because why not? If you're wondering why I have Tinder open, it's because I'm on my chatfish. But anyways. So, let's go. Fast and easy, be yourself, complete it all. Try not to leave neutral. Okay, so. You enjoy vibrant, nope. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. I don't know. The fuck. Uh, nothing is unrealistic technically, so I'll just put a slight agree on that. Actually, I'll put I'll put moderate agree. Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas and a detailed itinerary. Moderate disagree. I'll have to think about what should have been said in a conversation. Nope, I don't leave anything unsaid. If your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally. Nope, rather than solve the problem. Nah, people can rarely upset you. I don't know, that's a hard one. It's not so much that people upset me in interpersonal reactions, it's more in general. Uh. I'm going to say slight agree. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. Slight disagree. If you temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it's your top priority to get back on track. Yeah, moderate agree. Rarely worry if you made a good impression. Agree. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend by yourself without feeling bored. Disagree. Strong disagree. You are more detailed oriented than a big picture person uh, moderate disagree you're very affectionate with people you care about moderate agree maybe slight agree I don't know yeah I'll say, I'll say slight agree careful and methodical approach to life sure Strong agree. You are still bothered by mistakes you made a long time ago. Eh, not really. I'm going to say slight disagree. I'm going to say yeah, but like overall disagree. At parties and similar events, you can be far, far away from the action. Yep. Difficult to relate to people who let their, yep, let their emotions guide them. When looking for a movie to watch, you spent ages browsing the catalog. Nah, slight disagree. Actually, I don't know. Spent ages browsing the catalog. Yeah, because it's such a time investment, you know. So it's like you might as well invest the time to not. I'm gonna say slight agree. Um, actually, I don't know. I don't know because I feel like I already know what I want to watch before I even started searching, or at least I have a good idea. <sighs> That's a hard one. Um. Spent ages browsing the catalog. I'm going to say slight agree. But I'm going to stick with that. You can stay calm under pressure, sure. When in a group of people you don't know, you have no problem. Disagree. I do. I have no problem jumping into the conversation. Disagree. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. Yeah, that's true, for sure. In your opinion, it's sometimes okay to step on others. I don't know if I... Just to get ahead, I don't know if I'd say it's okay, but... It is the way of the world. It's, you know. I'm going to say slight agree. You're dedicated and focused on your goals. Only rarely getting sidetracked. Yeah, moderate agree. If you make a mistake, you tend to start downing yourself. Nope. When at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to people. True. I strong agree. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. No. Absolutely not. Those, those are essentially the only discussions worth having. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. Definitely agree. You feel more... Like, I'll admit that I do, but I'm not doing it in front of other people 
You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than quiet, intimate. Hmm. I don't know, to be honest. Bustling and busy atmosphere. I mean, I did grow up in the city. It's more easy to blend in in like the big places like that. It's like, ironically, it's more, you're more lonely, I guess. Like Henry Thoreau said, um, more quiet. It's, but if I had a choice and I had to make a choice, uh, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say more quiet and intimate. Feel more drawn to not. So I'm going to say moderate disagree. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. Sure. Definitely. When it comes to making life changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Nah. I, well, actually, I don't know. Do I? You, you might say I do listen to my. But your heart is your head. It's the same thing. I'm going to say slight disagree. Because if I had to choose one, I would rather do the logical thing. But I mean, they're intertwined. Like, So that's a bad question. Mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. I would say it's ultimately dictated by logic, so I'm gonna say slight disagree. What I do is ultimately um you can't you cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something you cannot I can totally see that. Um just cannot imagine yeah, that's I can totally see that. Usually prefer to get your event yep. You often make decisions on a whim. Uh, that's another hard one. On a whim. I must. I do it, but I don't do it often. So I'm gonna say slight disagree. You, the time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying. Definitely, you often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning. Yep, definitely of a song or a movie. Always know exactly what you want. Yep, you really think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. Um, yeah, because I mean, what's done is done. I'm gonna say slight agree. I'm not gonna say I don't think about it, but what's done is done. When in a public place, you usually stick, yep, to quieter and less crowded areas. You tend to focus on the present realities rather than future possibilities. Uh, slight agree. Because I mean, I, I do both. But it's like, which one is the tendency, though? Hmm. Yeah, I do. I focus on the present. I'm gonna say slight agree though, because I do. I do both. Um, you often have, have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. I mean, I understand them. I just don't necessarily agree. Uh, other people's feelings. But I'm gonna say I do have a hard time because it does. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like usually, how people feel. So, I'm going to say moderate agree. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. Sure, why not? I don't see why you wouldn't want to do that. Why would you not? It makes it easier if you have like a plan to follow. You don't have to stick to the plan and everything if another, if a better possibility presents itself. So... Strong agree. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you you, of, you also wonder how long it take become until they become disappointed in you. Um, I do. I don't say slight agree. I I don't particularly care, but I mean I do wonder. Um, I do wonder because you never know. Like I feel like I'm not doing anything wrong, but they might be disappointed in something or, or whatever. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Hmm, someone, I don't feel comfortable walking up to anyone, but it's that someone you find interesting, I'll be more likely to do that, but, so I'm going to say, I'm going to say moderate disagree, because, only because it, it said someone I find interesting, but I'm still not doing it, because, you know, burgers. You often drift away into daydreaming about event, various ideas and scenarios. Definitely. Look after yourself first, for sure. Even when you have planned a particular daily routine, 
You usually just end up doing what you feel. Nah, not especially. I'm gonna say slight disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. Disagree, strong disagree. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence and the meaning of life. Slight agree. You often talk about your feelings and emotions. Nope. You got a detailed education or career development plan several years into the future. I want to say disagree because I obviously don't, but I feel like I do in the opposite way. I have a detailed, neat plan. <laughs> I have a detailed unemployment plan for a perpetual friggin' unemployment and shit. So I'm gonna say slight agree. Is it because it's a yes, it's a positive, but it's just not in the conventional way. You really dwell on your regrets. Yeah, I'm gonna say moderate agree. I rarely do that. Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people makes you feel grunt trained and in need of a getaway, definitely. See yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. I don't want. I'm not gonna say I'm not a visionary, but if I had to choose, I mean, sure, I'd say more of a realist. Um, I'm gonna say moderate agree, just because I do feel like I'm a visionary too, slightly. You find it easy to empathize with the person who's gone through something you never have. Isn't that what empathy is? It, empathy is understanding that it's not something you've experienced, so you can't really understand. Again, this is a weird ask question. Find it easy. Sympathize with the person who's gone through something you never have. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say moderate disagree because I was just thinking like a woman who lost her baby or something. I like I, I that's not something I can really feel like that. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent efforts. Slight disagree. Slight disagree. Spontaneous bursts of energy. I'm pretty consistent. I mean, but again, I feel like this is one of those things that both of them can be equally true. But um, I feel like I'm more organized and consistent. So I'm gonna say disagree. Your emotions control you. No. After a long, exhausting week of fun, par nope. You frequently find yourself wondering how technical advance. Absolutely. You always consider how your actions might affect other people. Uh, let's say moderate disagree. You still honor, honor the commitments that you, even after you made a change of heart. Slight agree. Really feel insecure. Depends on what you mean by insecure. I'm going to say moderately agree. Because that's a really open-ended word. But, yeah, that was expected. Occasionally I get 100% thinking on these things, which is like kind of crazy to me. But yeah, but very squarely on every category, 92... 77, 83, 78, 83, assertive, and it's kind of interesting to read what they have to say about that type, but, um, yeah, I can read that shit on you all the time.